Careface CVP. Subscribe, like, comment, Careface and let CVP. the whole world know about Careface CVP. Um, you call me like, me just are telling you everything. No, 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 Professional man, you know, at times you just yeah. put the question. You know, I ask love because I just tell you, love it, man. Love from it. from the journey, it. from you know, seventh man. Yeah. Respect the journey, man. Well, yeah, I can man. tell you, yes. Yeah, so, yeah. What me say? Yeah. Big, big up, big up, big up on yourself. Welcome back to Carefree CVP. As me say, up there, up there. With your help, up there we will be going. Yes, we're here with Joseph Benaya. See? Yes, I you can check him out on YouTube. All platforms. All platforms. So right now, what? Wow. Studio M. Studio M. Studio yes. Studio. Right. Yes, so we're production. I am yeah. up here now. Rastafest. Doing Rastafest. Yeah. Yes. And I did it last year. Yeah, we know. see your it. But yeah, that's right. All right. Huh? <laughs> All right. So here what happened now. You see, when I first came to, to when I first came to Toronto, to perform. Well, I shouldn't say when I first came because I came here before with John Holt and, 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 and um, Lady was saying, No, 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 what's her name again? Uh, can't remember her name now. But she sang the song, No, no, no. You know, I said, No, 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 we did Quebec and we came here, but the show in Toronto never go on. So that was my first time coming to Toronto. But when I came back to Toronto, you know, I came here with Mighty Diamonds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yes. I also was a member of the Mighty Diamonds. Yes, yes. yes, I am still a member of the Mighty Diamonds. Yes. I am. You can yes. still know me as Capo Diamond. Capo Diamond. See? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. Uh, Joseph Benaya as a single artist. Yes, uh, Joseph Benaya is. Yes. yes. <laughs> so we came up here and two times now we do Rasta Fest with Masani and get to know this history and give her my CD and she invited me last year and she invited me forward again because last year was great, great performance. Even people inside places that I go around town here. Would tell me your performance was great, man. I'm yeah, glad you were forward. Yeah, it was. It was, it was a mm, good performance so, last year. I so say, we just I come in. Myself, yeah. Yes, we just come in. Just come in to come do it again. Give thanks. Yeah, man. And um, I saw it go. Um, yes, yeah, love it. Yeah. So like, um, you write most of your songs. Are you write all of them? No, I don't write all of my songs. You know, I write. I write. Um, I would say I'm maybe about. 60% of my songs are so, written so by you have me. Writers? I have co writers? Yeah, I have co writers. Uh, yeah, people. Well, o only one name you would probably know is Hope Dan Lindo. Okay. But I have other people, well, you know, San Sanky. You have Sanky in Jamaica who wrote a song for me and gave it to Dean for me to sing it, and I did sing it. It's Dean did ask him to write a song for me. Sangi Davis. Davis. Sangi Davis also have credit on Bob Marley album that he wrote. Oh. Song for Bob Marley. That's good, man. Yeah, Sangi Davis. I said I sang two songs that Sangi Davis wrote. One named Once There Is Life, and the other one named Time on the New Beginning album. Then I have other writers who wrote songs for me. Um, I work uh, Carlton Coffey, who was the lead singer for Inner Circle Band. Mm -hmm. uh, we were in a group together you know, before Inner Circle. Yes, 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 but Inner Circle somehow... And what was the name of that band? Asaf. 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 Mm -hmm. So unique to me, so like um, an African name. Yes, well, you know, because... How did you come up with the name? Alright, let me tell you. You see, I don't know, uh, Carlton came up with the name Asaf. And when Carlton leave the group, he said, more about the name. <laughs> I carry it with him. Yeah, but he never done up with it. You see, so we did have two names. The, name, the group, the name Asaf, and the backup singers were called Benaya. So because him take Asaf, you know, Benaya. I stay with Benaya because the, the backup singers have said, since him gone, you sing now, and we went back, you know? And we've been doing that since. Wow. You know, see it? So even though I come up here, solo yeah i don't bring my band yeah. i don't bring my singers i do have that 
but you know, yeah. sometimes it's a lot of expense, you know what I mean? Right. Right. You know sometimes, what I mean? Yeah. And, and the band that I work with up here, I love them. Okay. Yeah, it's a very good band. See. And the singers that I work with, well, is it um, hardcore? Hardcore, hardcore, yeah, it's hardcore. really hardcore. Yeah. Hardcore? Yeah. Yeah, I love hardcore, man. Yeah. And um, can lick the rhythm, them man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And actually, when I was called to come up here, I did hear of some other names and I said, no, I want to work back with hardcore. For the hardcore? Yeah, because what happened now, yeah, what happened now? If you work with a group already and they know your stuff, why go back and rehearse with somebody else? You're putting yourself under too much pressure. Again, you say, right. don't take on too much pressure. Right, so so we just deal with hardcore and say, my songs them is not really no easy, easy songs to, to play. Number one, they were produced by big time producers. So big time producers is not gonna you know, play no little one man yeah. and two to God. So you know? for example, uh, the beats, who mm -hmm. produced the beats? Like um, cause I know your beats are very authentic. Real original Jamaican beats. Even Canada here, the artists like mm -hmm. the era, the kind of era that you guys are in, mm -hmm. you, you know what I mean, you're probably more yeah. mature, right? Right. But the Canadian artists have a um, originality mm -hmm. of what reggae music right. should be. Right. And that's what you push, the right. originality of reggae music. Yes. Well, hear yeah, what happened though. Um, what, what really happened is, when I go to Jamaica to record, you see? Well, that's where you all the recording? 90% of my recording is done in Jamaica. I would call up Mr. Fraser. I say, Dean, coming to do some recording, you know. This is something this has been happening for a while back now, even when I was working with Jeffrey Chung. So they would call up different musicians. Jeffrey Chung was the one who got the musicians for me back in the days, in, in the, like in 1989, 90, those days. Yeah. He got the musician that Sly and Robbie, Robbie Lynn, Tyrone down here, and he put that Peter, together. Peter Veteran. Right. He put that together. All star musicians. Yes. He put that together. But nowadays, now I just call Mr. Fraser and I say, all right, Dean, I come into Jamaica. I have about four songs I want to record. He say, all right, any, any special musician? I say, um, I need bass man like Danny Basie from Firehouse Crew. Yeah. Call Danny Basie. Or, or, or I might tell him, um, um, Carl Glenn Brown, you know, or, yeah, yeah, some, some people, some people, right. you know, you can't right. deliver on your yeah. But by the time I get there, you know, the table don't set him. I'll have to have the mic. Yeah, yeah, exactly the table, exactly what I do. Yeah, the, the table don't <laughs> set, right? Because the, 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 the food I got cooked now, but the table set it's already. Right. You know, see it. So it's still not weird. Even the person who won this look at, we work, nobody else will work at Todd's Records, Record Studio. Okay. Um, um, and, and when we reach at the studio, him son run the studio, you know, him son will say, Why a big session? I'm going with them musicians, I'm coming in. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> My feeling is here with the PFN you know? Yeah, because you see, you will say, um, musician like Robbie Lynn, um, Danny Brown here. Yeah? Anyway, a pure big time musician yeah. come in at the place, right? And I um, say, all right. Do you know say? Joe sing the song, right? Right, because uh, uh, Joseph. Yeah, 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 What is going on? No, 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 no. And the drummer and him just go, go, and him start step. And bass man and the keyboard play and bang, 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 bang. And then you yeah, the go do do do. And bass come in now and. And before you know it, now everything get together and all together as well. You know, see it's like the, the food, the food I cooked so yeah. it start boiling. Yeah. <laughs> the food start boiling. Yes, and when that the part they don't know. Time to serve. No. Well, he yeah. know, say, alright. And him go on and on. 
He put on some hands. Hands them now sweet it up even more. He said, put up his hands, girl. He said, all right. Brought to you by Careface CBP. Subscribe, like, comment, and let the whole world know about it. Careface CBP.